Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly love messages. These will be from the 30th of March until the 5th of April. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. I am running a 40,000 subscriber giveaway. So once we hit 40,000 subscribers, I will be announcing those competition details. So um, make sure that you have subscribed if you haven't already. Also, I'm going to be doing some past, present and future readings tomorrow. I think we'll release those. So there's a bit happening on the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do. If you need a personal reading, personal readings are currently open. They will be closing in a few weeks for a couple of weeks because I have a few personal things going on. Um, so if you need a personal reading, make sure you do get in before they, before they close. Uh, the details are down in the description box below. So that's got the options, the price, how to reach me, all that jazz. All right, today we're going to be looking at your love situation, your feelings, your person's feelings, most likely outcome, romance, angel, and advice. Let's go. Virgo. Virgo. Five cards. Virgo. What's happening in Virgo's love life, please? For the 30th to the 5th, 30th of March, 5th of April Virgo we are coming up to an eclipse as well so I don't know why that suddenly popped in my head because out of all of the other readings I've done for this week I have not commented on the eclipse eclipses are where things get revealed so there may be some sort of thing that's being revealed to you this eclipse I believe it's um we're about to hit eclipse season so the first one is on the first of April and the second one I think is on the is there a 31st of April we know that I'm not good at the calendar right so whatever the last day in April is um there's an eclipse then too because it's a bookended month which is really interesting as well oh that was a cheeky little flip I don't know if you just saw that on the camera okay let's keep going four cards please for Virgo love messages for Virgo Mm, 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 mm. I might even do the past, present, futures as a live tomorrow. What do you guys think? So let me know what you think in the comments about doing a live and I can chat to you guys live. Even if I do some of them live and some of them pre-recorded maybe. I've never done a live. It's a bit scary really. Oh, wow. Okay. So I feel like this decision that you're going to have to make in love with the tower that flipped out as well. Um, it's going to change your life here, Virgo. It's going to change your life. Oh, Ace of Wands. One more, please. I'm just not sure it's going to give you what you want with that Ace of Wands in reverse. One more. So there's a decision to be made here. Oof, and the Ace of Swords in reverse too. All right, let's have a look. We've got the lovers in reverse, possible uh, Gemini energy. We've got that clarified with the tower with a flip eye jumper. Um, and that is Scorpio energy. That's followed by the Queen of Cups. This is someone who's very loving, nurturing, has a lot of love and care. Um, and then that's backed up again by the Four of Wands. This is someone who wants stability, long term marriage. And then we have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So someone here is looking for marriage. Someone here is looking for long-term stability. Someone here has a lot of love in this situation. But then it looks as if maybe the other person doesn't quite feel the same way and is a little bit afraid to speak up and communicate with the Ace of Swords. They may not be being entirely truthful. And that's why this lovers is in reverse and the tower, because this decision is kind of like a love decision that might not be, it's quite difficult to make. Um, and with the tower, the decision either way is going to cause a drama. Let's get some more clarity and we can try and draw out who's who in the zoo. Um, and what side this is. Remember, it is a general though, so it could go either way. Uh, if you need a personal reading for your particular circumstance and your energy, which is a lot more specific for me, you can find the details. You know where to look. I don't need to tell you it's all 75 million times. All right, Ace of Swords. I've got my really Aussie accent on today, guys. I don't know why. I think maybe it was the people I was with earlier today. So <laughs> if you're noticing that, I do sound a bit more ochre than usual. Oh, another ace in reverse. Whew. Someone's trying to move away from this situation. There's a lack of attraction. There's a lack of excitement. There's not the spark that they're looking for. 
there's no kind of long-term longevity here. And someone is trying to move away from this connection. Give me something for the Ace of Swords in reverse, please. Actually, give me two for the Ace of Swords in reverse. It's like someone is trying to leave, but they don't want to hurt the other person. Yeah, the Star card in reverse. All right, so the Star card in reverse, that's Aquarius energy as well. We've got some major arcanas, yeah. Oh, someone has a lot of regrets. Someone regrets not um, not being honest sooner because they were able to see early on that the, that the reality of the situation and the relationship was that maybe um, there wasn't enough attraction or there wasn't a long-term prospect here. The star card in reverse talks about being able to see things clearly and not being blinded by our rose-colored glasses that we put on when we fall in love. So whoever this is, um, whether it's you or your person, uh, is regretting that they haven't spoken up and communicated this sooner because now it looks like things are snowballing and someone's in really deep. Um, someone's thinking about marriage, someone's kind of wearing their heart on their sleeve and the other person just doesn't feel that way. Um, let's clarify the Queen of Cups, Four of Wands as one. Just one card. Give me anything you can on that. Yeah, yeah someone's really taking a risk and putting their heart on the line here. They're giving it all. Like they don't have a care in the world. There's no idea that this is all about to fall over um, or that this person doesn't feel the same way. Do you have the emperor on the bottom of the deck as well? So there may be Aries energy involved. Let's try and get some thoughts and feelings here. Thoughts and feelings for Virgo, please. So on the table, you've got um, three aces in reverse, Aquarius energy, uh, water energy, Gemini energy, and also the tower, which is um, Scorpio energy. So two cards, please, for Virgo thoughts and feelings. King of Cups. Oh, the world. Okay, interesting. So for some of you, <laughs> this is like two separate energies. For some of you, it's you that is wearing your heart on your sleeve. And for the others of you, so it's a 50-50 split. And for others of you, it's you that wants to get out with the world card. This is showing up as two very distinct energies for me, like in terms of energetically off the cards. So it's giving me each, like, yeah, it's a clear 50-50 spread. Um, let's have a look at the other person that Virgos are dealing with. Give me the other person's thoughts and feelings that Virgos are dealing with. Three cards. The Chariot. The Knight of Pentacles. Oh, and the Ace of Wands. Again, sharing that energy. Two of Pentacles in reverse on the bottom. So, again... Split energy, someone's feeling like things have maybe moved too fast, that the attraction isn't there for them. Um, and then on the other side, for those of you that are wanting to end, for them, it's they want to move forward and they're feeling like you're not attracted to them. So there's this real kind of back and like it's almost like this circular energy going on here. Um, it's not one all one way, it's not all the other. So I think that there's a lot. Like I said, half of the Virgos are dealing with or close enough to half of the Virgos are dealing with one situation and close enough to half of the or the other half of the Virgos are dealing with the other half of the situation. I don't know if that makes sense, but you know what I'm talking about. All right, let's go. Um, most likely outcome, please, for Virgo. Someone, yeah, someone's definitely wants to leave, but they don't know how to kind of say it it's like they're they're a bit trapped there's the ace in reverse you've got all aces on the table all in reverse across three decks that's really amazing um i don't think i've ever seen that before uh four more cards please yeah there's it's it's an un not unrequited love well, it kind of is unrequited love, though there's not an equal 
give and take here and it's time look at this the wheel of fortune it's time to move this situation forward because i think that it's been in this situation for quite some time oh there's the third ace of wands in reverse goodness me maybe the spark has died out um just not feeling the attraction anymore sun card here showing up and look at the way that the sun card has his back to all of this stuff right um the little it's normally a child but in this case it's a man um on the back of the white horse there it's like he's got his back to all this and he wants to move forward towards happiness towards you know the warmth of the sun leaving all this behind so again we've got this same theme of someone wanting to leave and leave all of this behind possibly because there's not enough attraction possibly because the spark's gone but i do feel like it's been like this for some time and and now it's like it's time it's time to move on from this so um there could be some movement this week virgo for some of you there is uh, obviously water signs on the table now we have cancer and leo advice for Virgo oh Virgo so allow yourself to grieve no matter which side of the story you're on here because it's important even if you're yeah it's like let yourself grieve before you move on the chariots come out twice or three times as well uh, one more please for advice so again cancer energy yeah look at that Aries energy again that's that and then Empress wow all right that's what this is saying you need to allow yourself time to grieve before you move forward or move on because you've got not only you becoming Emperor whether you're male or female you're turning yourself into this Emperor energy and then attracting your matching pair the Empress after a short period of time so it's almost like releasing this either way again no matter what side of the of the story you're on by releasing this you're actually bringing in your divine counterpart the Emperor and the Empress showing up together um, moving towards that perfect union so but you will need to let yourself grieve this situation again I'm going to say it no matter what side of the story you're on because um, if you don't do that it's going to block this this attraction of your next kind of phase let's go with romance angel please now remember if you need personal readings i've got the details down in the description box below with the options etc i'll be doing some past present future readings tomorrow so if you haven't subscribed make sure that you have that you do that um and you won't miss out yeah i feel like maybe someone's already proposed and now it's like yeah i want to get out of this um but there are genuine feelings here but i feel like they're just um they're either not reciprocated as much or they're not enough to keep something going long term and that's what's being realized okay all right virgo um i will be talking to you tomorrow i will be back online um as i said i'm thinking about doing a live let me know what you think about that down in the comments otherwise please like this video um it helps get it out and share it to as many virgos as possible um and i will be talking to you soon have a great week